mostly dependent on who gets uh, more grabs than normal. But then early Gimp with Needles, probably Tech Club and probably try to grab the ledge. Uh, generally, it's just mostly trying to play safe, trying to avoid grabs, trying to get uh, out of bad situations like getting down throw. Uh, trying to get on the ledge safely with ledge stall. Up, gets the grab. Nice ledge cancels from Coat. Generally just trying to get grabs into kill setups while at the same time trying to play safe. Coat's doing a good job pressuring right now. He will make it back. Just barely. He may get the, the kill off the top. But just retreating to the ledge. Stalling out. Trying to get back. Going back to needles. It's generally the matchup is trying to get needles while staying safe and getting grabs. A lot of needle camping, platform camping, ledge camping. It's punishable on the ledge, just doing get up, just trying to roll on over a hundred. Coat could have punished that. Just trying to bait him out with some dash dances. Gets him with the poke on the down smash. Gets him with the up B. Epo might get the stock, just barely though. Barely the DI was ever so slightly off. He got the stock. Epo at 147. Just barely getting out. Coat finally takes the stock. But Epo does have a, a somewhat of a lead with one stock. Try and chain grab on the platform. That doesn't work. Although he gets a low percent grab. And this will lead to at least about 30%. Depending on his DI. Seems like he's just going to grab to at least 92%. That one grab led to. That's why grabs are so dangerous in the Sheik Dittos, because grabs will just lead to an enormous amount of percent, and sometimes a stock. Evil getting the up air on the kill on Battlefield. Evil just going back to the ledge, safely stalling with the with the Bushido stall, or Shino stall. Dash attack on shield, not that safe as he gets the grab. Evil's trying to mix up his DI options. And nicked him barely with the forward tilt, trying to get the littlest amount of percent possible. He's gonna recover, but barely punished with the up smash. Sour spot! Trying to go over this edge guard situation, needling each other. Evo makes it back safely. Coke trying to cover high too many times. Evo's getting another grab at low percent. Let's see how much this leads to. Probably gonna lead to at least. 70, depending on Coach DI, depending on where he wants the DI. He's not really mixing up his DI too much. Ooh, he gets the up tilt. Ooh, good recovery by Coat. He could have just gotten nicked by the bear, and then that would have been the game. He should be able to recover, but barely on the ledge. Evo doing a good job getting the ledge from him stalling. Getting the bear, and that should be game one. Apparently, 1 1 0 in Epo's favor. Going to Fountain, probably for the higher ceiling. That's a reasonable counter pick. Evo got a lot of kills off the top, but the sides aren't that big. Oh, barely makes it back. He does get a low percent grab, but Epo managing the DI out of it. Going for the down smash pressure. Managed to barely get a grab out of the end lag, but Epo techs away. Getting an up smash, trying to get him off the stage. Gets back on stage, gets another grab. This will probably lead into some kill or an edge an edge guard situation. He makes make sure he gets it. Even going back to the ledge. Coat trying to trying to get something started here. Trying to space it out so that he gets something. Gets the grab. The eyes toward the platform to tech away. Good option by Epo. Epo going for the edge guard. Coat covering an option. Managing Epo out on stage getting punished by the down smash. Epo getting the grab again. Reading the DI wrong. Ooh, the down smash was very well spaced, just so close. 
Getting another grab, going for an edge guard. Epo trying to go for the ledge, Coat getting it. So by Coat using the big shield in order to prevent a little bit of pressure. Doing a little bit more needle, and more spacing. Evo got him off stage. He probably has a situation, doesn't bluff it. He does, though. Evo going for the chain grab. Evo getting the forward tilt into the fair, and that will be the stock there. It's definitely not, the game's not over yet. Ko definitely can make up the space in between these two. Ipo going for some wall jump off ledge tricks, trying to get him. Ipo spacing his attacks very, very well as Ko's trying to get back from the ledge. Coach Fair managed to get Ipo away, but we're back to the same situation. A lot of ledge shenanigans coming from these two, but Ko manages to win out in the end. Only a 66% lead on two stocks left. This fair shouldn't kill, but the needle gets his jump. Jumping a little bit too early at a hit stun, taking the stock. Epo leading one. Needle's making up a little bit of percent. He gets. He needles trying to get off, and he goes off. Barely almost gets himself, getting the grab. But down smashing, getting him off stage, trying to give it the down smash again, but just under it. He doesn't hit too far down. Dash dancing into the grab, getting the re-grab. He was trying to DI toward the platform. He gets it. Covering the ledge with his up B, but getting back. Coates now on the ledge. Trying to get back with Bears, but Epo's got him covered. And that's the game 2-0 Epo.